Hi everybody. Okay, this question right here, actually this question right here is one that I, I like to do in class and I like to, to let people kind of work ahead of me because there tends to be a bit of a, an error that pops up and, and it's a good opportunity to talk about the way the calculator works. Now I'm not going to, I'm not going to kind of let you fall into that here. Um, two points A and B are on the Earth's equator and point C is the center of the Earth. So what we're doing here is we're, if we're looking, whoops, so you can't see that. If we're looking kind of down from the top of the Earth, here's the center of the Earth and we've got the two points A out here, B, here C, and we're told that the angle here is 74 degrees. Okay, so now obviously we're going to have to convert that into radians because of the, the sort of work that we're doing here. The circumference of the Earth at the equator is approximately 40,070 kilometers. Now let's think, why would I give you the circumference? Okay, when I'm, when I'm working with my, my arc length formula here, the A equals um, uh, theta R, theta is in degrees, A is arc length, R is the radius, okay? So why would I give you circumference? Well, I'd give you circumference so that you would have to go through the process here of finding the radius. Just, I'm adding a couple of steps to your work here, okay? So I know, okay, you said 40,070 kilometers equals 2 pi R, if I divide that, I know that my radius here is going to be 40,070 over 2 pi. Okay, so there's my radius. So what I want to do here is I want to find uh, then the shortest arc length in the nearest uh, kilometer from A to B. We want to find the arc length right there and we know that, okay, given the formula that theta is equal to A over R, that by multiplying that through here, I'll get that the arc length is going to equal theta r. Okay, so here we go. Let's start plugging stuff in here. So my arc length is going to be theta, 74 degrees. Now I have to convert that to radians, so I'm just going to include my conversion factor in there, and then I got to multiply by my radius, which is 40,070 over 2 pi. Now, when we go to the calculator, this is where I'll, I'll, I'll point out where kind of mistakes get made here. Um, so we're going to start with 74. We're going to multiply by 180 divided by pi. That's not the issue. That's actually usually pretty good here. Then we multiply by 40,070 divided by... Now here's where people make the mistake. They'll put 2 pi here. This is incorrect. Okay, the reason why it's incorrect here is because the calculator is not seeing this the way you might be thinking it should be seeing it. It's seeing this as 40,070 divided by 2, and then you're multiplying that by pi. In reality, what I want to do is I want to divide by pi. In order to tell the calculator, whoops, sorry, that we want to be dividing by pi, you have to put parentheses around that denominator. Okay? And when you do that, the calculator will do this first and then do the division, which is what I wanted to do here. Now press enter. And we are getting a ridiculously large number there for this. So I got to figure out what the heck just happened there. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I can't believe I did that. That was hilarious. Okay, I did the wrong conversion factor there. Sorry. Why didn't anybody say anything? That makes way more sense. Okay. Okay. Now, but that's that's actually worth talking about here. Notice what happened here. I like I got a huge number here. Notice that this number here is like substantially larger than the circumference of the world. Okay. Don't just blindly grab that number. It made no sense. Okay. Uh, this makes way, way more sense. Just 8,000, okay, as opposed to, what was that, that one up here? That was like 27 million kilometers. So this is ridiculous. This one makes way, way more sense here. So 8,236, okay. What does it say? Uh, does it say to the, nearest, to the nearest kilometer? So this would be approximately 8,237 kilometers. Good.